Hi, I'm Eileen. Welcome to Get Creative at Home, brought to you by the Newburgh Free Library. This time we're going to be finger knitting a bracelet. You will need a scissors to cut the fabric and your fingers for knitting. That's it. The fabric you'll need is a jersey knit. It's a stretchy fabric. All right, nice and stretchy. Um, what I did is I cut, this fabric is approximately 60 inches wide, so it's folded in half. Okay, and then I folded it a second time in half. And then I cut three one inch strips. Okay, I'll cut one here just so you can see what I'm doing. So just one inch strips. One to one and a half inches is fine. Doesn't have to be an exact measure. Okay, so that's the one strip. Um, you can mark it if you want or use a, a rotary cutter. That's another option. Um, but I have three of those already cut out. Okay, so this is what we'll be, I'll be working with. All right. Another option for your fabric could be to cut a an old t-shirt. If you have an old t-shirt that you, you know, are finished with, nobody's wearing it, uh, anymore. You can also use that um, for your fabric to make the bracelet. And what you would do is the first thing is to go around and cut off the hem. So you'd remove the hem. And then you can fold it in half. I'm not going to cut this because I still wear this t-shirt. <laughs> but um, what you would do then is just to cut one inch strips. All right, and that would get you started. And then you would have to snip them in half so that they're, um, you know, snip along the, the side seam after you cut them into the one inch strips. So take two strips, all right, get yourself started, I have two, two strips, and we want to connect these, all right, so we're going to overlap about, uh, about an inch, okay, overlap. And then fold that in half and snip. You're going to snip a little hole, a little slit. Okay, so you can see there's a little slit there and a little slit there. And one on top of the other. And then this top one, to the end of it, so you're at, at the end of the top one. And from underneath, you'll push it through the two holes. Okay, one, two, and just pull it through. To connect. I'm going to do the same for the third strip. 
depending on how long you want to make fish or you know how wide or narrow your wrist you might not need all three pieces but you might okay so we'll cover that you know one on top overlap it by an inch then just fold it in half and snip Past the end of that piece from behind. And go down to that. At the end of it, put it from the from the bottom to the top and then pull it through okay and you've bounded those those two pieces together all right so now you've got a nice very long 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 chain to work with now we're going to start knitting so take the end and pass it over your hand all right and you're just going to hold on to it with your thumb okay hold on to that tail right there with your thumb and then wrap behind you're going to go behind that index finger across in front of the middle finger behind the ring finger in front of the pinky and then back around behind the pinky in front of the ring finger and behind the middle finger okay i'm going to show that to you one more time I lay the strip across your hand hold on to it with the thumb you're going to go behind your index finger in front of the middle your middle finger behind your ring finger in front of your pinky around behind the pinky in front of the ring finger and behind the middle finger okay now you're going across the front now you're going to take the fabric that's closest to your palm by your pinky around your pinky and pull it over the fabric that you know over the cross fabric and over your pinky finger okay then you're going to take the fabric that's closest to the base of your ring finger and lift it up over the ring finger the piece of fabric that's closest to the base of your middle finger lift it up over your middle finger okay okay now here you are around behind the pinky across the three all right so this is a three finger knit all right that's what we're doing here we're going across the, the three fingers and then take the piece that's closest to, to your palm over the wrap around piece wrap across piece right that cross piece take the fabric loop closest to the base of your ring finger up over your ring finger and behind okay the piece that's closest to the base of your 
middle finger up over the cross fabric and over your thing over your in uh, middle finger there you go okay now you're going to come around in front of your middle finger across the three fingers and do that again that process of taking the these the bottom over the finger from the bottom over the finger bottom piece up over the finger okay now you can bring this tail around the back all right you can kind of, you can let that go right, and here we go we have that fabric across the three fingers take the loop up over the pinky take the loop up over the cross fabric over the ring finger take that loop up lift it up over the fabric and over your finger okay and then always work with this long the long piece okay you want to leave this one hanging in the back and you can see this is starting to take shape okay And it'll look even better the further you go, further along you get, the nicer that's going to look. All right, I'll keep that down. All right, and turn your hand over. Okay, and we've got that. Now we're going to work um, across the fingers, up and over, up and over, up and over. You know, if you feel comfortable to have the loops a little closer to the tips of your fingers, that's fine. Okay, just give yourself enough room to cross over the three fingers. Remember to work with the long piece. Okay, so that seems to be long enough for my wrist. If you want to keep going a little bit further, um, that's that's great. Um, this seems like it would do it for me. Um, so what I'm going to do is take it off of my fingers. All right, so carefully hold on to these loops. All right, so we've got one off and then the second one off. And the third one off okay there you go and then what you're going to do is pass um, I'm going to snip this because I don't I don't need it to be so long I'm 
I'm going to pass it through those three loops that I just removed from my finger. So it goes through one, let's see, one, two, three. And I'm just going to pull it tight. Okay, so there you go. And then I'm going to tie a knot. And I'm going to tie a second knot. nice and tight okay and then i'll tie a bow and then i'm just going to snip the ends And then it's a, it's stretchy, right? So it can just fit that right over your wrist. There you go. Um, so there you have it. This one I made and I snipped off the bow. And this one I left the bow on. So that's your choice. And depending on your tension, you know, um, it might be uh, a little chunkier or a little thinner. All right, so I hope you enjoy wearing your bracelet. I hope you enjoyed making it, and um, we'll be seeing you soon, we hope.